Ni hao. Uh, Tell it in Chinese. Any Chinese? No. Okay. Why don't you just speak Chinese and you're done? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how do we? Uh... Okay, so here's how I got involved in this company. My father was uh, 85 years old and went to a nursing home and uh, did not get such good care and um, ended up um, not uh, dying in the nursing care. And then my mother uh, was 93 and she was at home and she ended up falling and no one could get to her and she passed away at that point. Uh, so then I moved to California and we met uh, with these very smart people, Sean. And what we have developed is a company that um, deals with um, artificial intelligence and home care and nursing care in nursing homes for, uh, for elder adults. And this is across the board for any, for any country in the world. Okay, we're called AI care. So what we have, we've combined with our scientists machine learning and uh, data analytics. We have a cloud-based monitoring for senior care. And within that, we can predict, um, uh, we can predict the uh, medical condition of of seniors in terms of are they more active or less active. Um, and we can also determine by wearing our wrist sensor, which is this, whether someone uh, has had a hard impact. Okay, it's hard to measure a fall, but we can determine an impact on a one, two, three level. Mm. 把两个结合在一起，因为基本上那个嗯，在美国又是在美国，那个养老院这些体系的话，跟整个世界做做整个科技业大概脱呃脱节了十年到十五年之间。那我们这个system的话，就是我们这套系统可以从呃人工智能方
by putting a sensor on the caregiver, if I'm near you and you're the patient, it'll say that the nurse will be near you. Okay, and then it'll also, as a return on investment, will also let the person who's giving the care will know whether or not they're doing their job. Okay, are they just having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, or are they actually acting with the seniors? So, our benefit in caregiving or in the nursing home is that first, they run away. This is the biggest problem. Right? Second, they run away. Right? Third, they run away. Right? Fourth, they run away. Right? Fifth, they run away. Right? Sixth, they run away. Right? Seventh, they run away. Right? Eighth, they run away. Right? Ninth, they run away. Right? Tenth, they run away. Right? Eleventh, they run away. Right? Twelfth, they run away. Right? Thirteenth, they run away. Right? Fourteenth, they run away. Right? Fifteenth, they run away. Right? Sixteenth, they run away. Right? Seventeenth, they run away. Right? Eighteenth, they run away. Right? Nineteenth, they run away. Right? Twenty, 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 they run away. Right? 那他们经常有借口说：“哦，老人需要什么照顾，其他事都不做了。”所以这是蛮正常的一件事情。怎么去管理人？第四个的话就是说，我们可以看 real time， 就是说现在这个时候，到底这个人，就是照顾人员跟老人到底有没有互动，有没有到底做他应该做的事，还是他就把老人就都堆在厕所里面去，他躺在那边睡觉。OK， 这个也是经常发生。那第五个，第五个的话就是说，一个医护人员、医疗人员跟老人到底花了多少时间？因为在很多体系的话。他们只能就是说一一天大概只有一点五个钟头可以照顾老人，任何东西再加上去的话，要么就是赔钱，要么就要多收钱，所以这个对他们本身是个问题，他们没办法去做这个 tracking， 这是追踪这件事情。Okay, this is not an Apple Watch. This is a combined system with the backend analytics and our sensor providing you, the senior care, the families and the and the nursing staff with conditions. As to how the how the patient's doing. Okay, so they know they know the uh, senior's condition on a real time basis. It provides a safer environment, and certainly is going to give you a better level of care. Okay, so ROI, return on investment. It's about it's it's about money. Okay, so here's what we can do. Here's what the system's going to do for you. Okay, it's going to give you a better flow management for your uh, for your staff. You're going to direct your staff to where they should go, not running around to people who don't need the care. You're going to let them target who needs the care. Um, it's going to show you how much time this, the caregiver has spent with the senior. So when my father got sick, my mother would say, you didn't spend enough time with my father. Well, the, the watch, the sensor will show it's near the patient. So you won't have any trouble uh, in that situation. Okay? We're going to provide an activity. Is your mother or father or grandfather, are they more active or are they less active? Um, it's going to give you a real-time location. What we do is we do a schematic of the nursing center or the home, and it'll show you in real time exactly where the patient is within uh, two meters. Uh, and it's going to give you uh, an auditing to ensure quality control, and uh, if someone is exercising, it'll show you how much, based on the sensor, they're, they're moving or not. 就稍微很快简介介绍一下，就说第一个就是说 resident 就是说这种病人的时间怎么去分配他们时间，这个其实在医院跟养老院很重要。比如说我一个房间就做呃做 X 光检查，对不对？你希望在每个这个时间之内，越多病人进去越好，可以赚更多钱。所以这个是帮忙帮助你怎么去做这个整个 manage 这个 flow。那其他几个就是说还有几个，呃，像下面这边的话，很多人就是做运动啊，什么东西到底是不是有用？因为这个其实是很贵，在美国，比如说在 Sunrise 这个地方的话，大概是四亿左右的 cost。到底这个 program 有没有用？什么他们可以拿来做，就是说来做真正，到底好不好这个 program？ 所以就是。And we're in active trials on this in um, in、uh, three facilities. Okay, so here's our team. Sean. Okay. Uh, talk about <laughs> I just do it myself. Okay. Okay. Uh, 我本身在那个呃、uh, 通信业界做了二十几年了，已经。我之前也在华为里面做技术收购、技术投资。之前我在一家公司叫 Basis， 就是做呃、uh, 那个腕表、健康表，那个时候是我们卖给 Intel 了。那自己我本身是读航空，然后后来就做人工心脏。呃、uh, ，另外一个就是呃。Uh, 我们的那个 Chief Medical 就是我们的呃、uh, Chief Medical Officer， 他是斯坦福大学的那个教授，心脏科教授，还有心脏科医生。那 Lena 是俄国呃毕业的，他是专门帮我们做 AI 的 application， 就是那个人工智能部分。呃、uh, ，Henry 是我们 Pre Engineering， 以前也在 Rocket， 所以我们在后端的 database 是特别强。那 Barry 在这里，他我讲中文，他也不知道我讲什么东西。他以前是个律师，告过养老院，就是帮老人。出了问题去告养老院而成功告过，所以我们请他来做我们的 sales。OK， 请听。OK。呃，你知道这是？耶，是我。
，这是我们的 advisor 后端。第一个是 Carol， 为什么我们做养老养老院这些呢？因为他是在 Sunrise， Sunrise 是全美第六大的养老体系。他在里面设计的整个 memory care 就失智老人中心是他设计的，所以很多在美国你看都是他设计。其他几个比较有名的可能就是 Daniel，Daniel Daniel 是我们的很好朋友，他是 Steve Jobs 那个 roommate， 他们跟一起做的 Apple One 那那个那个人，他他一直都把我往这个老人方向推。另外一个话就是 Beats 耳机，就是那个不是耳机卖给 Apple 那个 Beats 耳机，他是全部都是全设计人，所以在技术上面呢帮了我们很多这技术设计。And these two are particularly important. They were the original Apple people, so it's a, it's a, it provides us with that background. Okay, so here's what we do: we provide a schematic of the nursing center or of the home of your home. It's a real-time location. It'll tell people where they are. I want you to look at our video. When this is all done, you'll see a video, one-minute presentation, back there. Uh, what we do: we have a. If someone falls, uh, there'll be an SOS alert. The sensor will send off an alert on an impact. Well, we can also display if the patient, where they are and if they've continued to go to the same place or if they're changing their routine. Uh, this is accurate, it's extremely accurate within a few meters and we'll give you an email alert, we'll give the staff an email alert where the patient is or if they are in trouble. Okay, and then the other thing that we can do through the back end analysis with Sean and the team is we've been able to then take all the data from the sensor and we'll be able to determine if people are more active or less active. And if a senior is less active, then obviously there's something wrong, okay? And that's what you want to try to get in front of what that kind of uh, situation is and then try to, try to determine what's wrong with the senior. Also, we have the amount of time that they're inside the inside the room or outside the room. Again, very important if seniors are, if, if your mother or father or patient is sitting in a room all day, you want to know why. We will give you a graph as to how long they're in and out of the, uh, in and out of the room and what their activity level is. And here's what we do, I showed you the watch. This was the first generation of watch. This is the second generation of watch. We have a third generation that's even sleeker and smoother and nicer. It's attached to the IoT box. Um, it's a 24 seven, 24-hour day data collection system, uh, and from the data that we collect, we plot it on a line, and then we're able to then uh, determine uh, with artificial intelligence, predict the behavior. Okay, so it's an end-to-end, -end, you wanna, it's an end-to-end -end platform, and uh, we also, were, so now we're in trials now, and we have about uh, 80 people wearing the system now, and thus far it's generating good results. Uh, so this is the map I was telling you about. There's no, there's no company out here that's doing this. Okay, we'll map, we'll schematically map your facility and it'll show you each one of these is a patient. Okay, and if you, if you come back afterwards and get a free giveaway, uh, I'll show you where people are in Taiwan and I'll show you where they are in California, actual patients wearing the system. Okay, and if they, so then if this person were to go outside the boundary of this, the alarm will go off and they'll know that there's an elopement. You need to... I think we okay. understand. Okay. Uh, and again, we can, we can set up the different zones. So if Barry should only be in this area, if I go outside this area, the alert will trigger and, um, and a staff member can, um, can do that. That's up to you to... to uh, to determine that zone。这个最主要就是说，你要把它保护在某个范围之内。比如说，在门口，在每，尤其在美国这地方的话，它一接近门口，你要先告诉，就是那个嗯，养老院或者那个业者，就是说，make this is a way to for the staff to um to be more efficient. If this person, if this person is sleeping then you don't, the nurse doesn't have to come in and give them a meal. You know that they'll stay outside, this person would get the meal, that person would get the meal. We can determine what the activity level is so, so staff doesn't run around and do extra things. This Okay, so just again, this is a general, um, if you want to put this on the staff, 
they wear the sensor, it'll tell you when they've come to work and when, they, when they've left. Okay. okay, it'll tell you if they're answering the calls or not. Where are they going? Are they helping the patients or, have it, or are they having a cup of coffee? Okay, um, the other thing is, at least in this country, sometimes the staff itself, the caregiver, gets into trouble. Think about that. So the caregiver has an SOS. Suppose they were attacked by a patient. help you with the rehab exercise and, 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 and things like that, but you could tailor these kinds of things, uh, these kinds of activities to your, to your own uh, uh, home. So we need to be able to get out of the house. The first thing is that many people who are doing this work are using GPS. So where is the problem? In China or in Europe, many houses are high levels, right? So if you have GPS, you don't have a new signal. You don't have a new signal. 所以他可以在楼下吃面，你也不知道他在楼上干嘛。OK， 我们这套系统这样这样子做法的话，如果他们也带我们的系统走进去，我就说他来了。但是离开的时候是他的事情，你不会说二十四小时跟踪他。结果是没上班的时候你知道他在哪里，上班的时候你反而不知道在干嘛。OK， 那这个下面是最最大一个问题，这个可能在美国也可能发生。我们已经看到就是发生事情，就是说。有，比如说一个老人，大概是七十岁，年轻还是很壮，请个呃，请个人去做照顾，结果被攻击性侵犯。在这种情况下，我他们现在所所有的都，他们只有是一个 pepper spray， 只拿那个 pepper spray， 因为手机也来不及收拿出来这些东西，所以他们准备就用这个东西，你自己按这个 SOS alert， 出了这个问题的话，派人去救他，所以是出了这个情况。OK， 那另外一个话，当然就是说。他们到底花什么时间、多少时间在一起？那这个东西是有点互相了。谁攻击谁，你现在不知道。所以他们现在有这个问题，并不是，并不是说每次都是照顾人去攻击老人，而是有反过来的现象。所以这个 tracking system 两个在做的时候，是其实是看双方的。Okay, so we talked about this. We can give you how active the senior is. This will measure. This is a graph. Uh, and we can tell you again where, they, where they're located, and I assume it's the same as in China, ADL, activities of daily living, okay? So are they eating, are they bathing, are they dressing, are they, are they sleeping enough, are they taking medi medicine, are they complying with the medicine, big, big problem. Are they walking, moving, are they using the toilet, and are they able to get in and out of the bed? Uh, Okay, then this is, I guess, um, what we're working then through with the AI system is we, we can integrate robotic measurements with what people are doing, okay? So um, in the not so distant future, um, we're gonna be able to determine uh, patient workflow and also staff workflow, and we can give you a graph as the, as the director or administrator of a company how, how people are doing activity-wise and, um, and even work-wise. Okay, and then we can also, we'll give you a baseline as to what the patient's doing. We can give you a baseline as to what the staff is doing. And then you'll be able to see if there's differentiations in that baseline. Because we have the AI care, we'll be able to give you data. It's not a question of saying, is that person, does that person feel better or not? We'll give you the data to determine whether or not that person actually is, is feeling better or not. 这个我再加一句，就是说我们在日本已经开始跟呃日本客户在谈，因为日本现在开始已经往机器人化了，基本上没有人，所以机器人有两种问题。第一个的话，你要叫他做什么事情，他会做；但是你不叫他做的时候，他不做。第二种，在日本的话，就是说你怎么照照顾老人，让他们很高兴。问题是什么时候送这机器人？那我们这套系统就是可以，你看人。就是看这个老人他们的饮食起居这些来做变化，而把这个信息带进你的机器人，让他们去做某种事情，让他们自动做某种事情，你才能真正结合一个机器人在养老体系里面的一个服务。Okay, again, these are some of the graphs that we can give you. I think this is great. This is going to show you whether people are, again, doing something unusual. Is that a sense? Are, are they sick or do they feel as well? Or or um, uh, in indications like that. And um, we, we can also determine if there's an impact so someone can get to you sooner than not. Again, my, um, and um, here we can determine 
uh, as a reminder, we can, set the, um, we can set the alert to remind you to take your medicine. Again, a crucial thing for seniors. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Please see our video at the end, too.